You also have a pretty big revolution in the way that people think about math, where there is a thing that's called category theory, which is extremely hard to explain. Uh, and it's kind of like a language. It's sort of like a new language with which mathematicians think about their work that didn't exist 100 years ago. It's very much a different like way of thinking. And it's just quietly happening among these circles, not in a way that's very popularized. It's never going to show up in your high school calculus class, but it's absolutely like a new thing. Okay, but you're saying yeah. there, it exists within math, but none that have shown up in our K through 12 textbook. Nor should they. Like, I don't think you should shove category theory into a K through 12 textbook. Yeah, I got to say what Grant's doing right now is uh, he's throwing shade at all those mathematicians back there that Akia is talking about. He's like, our stuff is so complex right now that, yeah, you can't even learn it, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, okay. Only three people it's can okay. learn it that's, in the whole world. That's it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you're joking. I know you're joking, but I hate when this is kind of how things come across as like, oh, this is so complex. It's more like, so you have certain people doing a certain job, like a research mathematician trying to find proofs. This is tools for that job. It's mo it's not a great tool for other jobs, like maybe writing programs and and using mathematical modeling for the like simulation that you're running. Not as good a tool for that job, but for their job of writing proofs, it's like here's this new tool. It's come into invention. Once you want to pursue that job, hey, we can make it as approachable as we want. But because I don't think everyone should do that job. Like we shouldn't, we shouldn't put it into K-12. And there's a ton of stuff that's too complex to describe that's vocational, right? If you want to understand like the exact way that injection molding works or something like that, it might be something that's inappropriate for a podcast, not because it's like highfalutin, you know, super math brain. It's just because, hey, things that are very peculiar to one job tend to involve a lot of assumed jargon and a lot of assumed context from the people learning it. And it's just not meant to be. Akia, guess what? Uh, it's there, but... It's not necessary for you on a need to know basis. <laughs> you on a need to know basis, Akia. And that's the, there we go. <laughs>